How did you meet up with Craig? Gum tree ads, you know, yeah. where you buy cars and sell furniture. Mm-hmm. They were, <laughs> I was looking for bands and they were posting for bands, so. One of few, one of few, I'd yeah. probably imagine. We I'd done a lot of auditions around the, at that point. And so we went to Berkeley Studios in Glasgow and had an audition. It was me, Scott, and Craig. And yeah, it went okay. You I, didn't think it was. I don't think any of us thought we no. would get back no. and do another jam. I think we all <laughs> thought. Yeah. We'll not see each other again. Really? <laughs> that was probably yes. Well, but you, you didn't like the look of each other, or was we, it the, the playing? <laughs> they were wanting to play like blues rock, and I was wanting to play Megadeth. I think that was what the, the problem was. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, you didn't learn the songs. To be fair, <laughs> I'd listen to them in the car on the way down. <laughs> We don't know how Craig got the job. <laughs> you, you had been playing in some other bands already, Craig. Yes, I. I Played in quite a few bands before that point. Some with also terrible names. Um, Share them. <laughs> there was Scud Boots. There was a Radar. There was Incoming Itch. There was, <laughs> <laughs> that was an indie band. It lasted like three, like I don't know, like three months. And then there was a Midnight Thursday, which was a band I played with my brother. And there was Mercury Underground. Um, White Snake. White, White Snake. Yeah. Tribute Act. Was White it? Tribute Act. Because he was in a White Snake cover band and there was some footage from that. And yeah. that's what we thought oh, well, the, the audition wasn't great, but this video shows he can play. So that kind of brought mm-hmm. him back. So thanks to White Snake. Looking back on it, Craig, uh, do you think playing with these various bands doing different types of. of rock music mm-hmm. would you say looking back it was actually a good grounding and a, a, a good experience to get you honed into what you really wanted to do absolutely yeah I'd feel like I'd already played the Glasgow circuit by the time I was 16 um, like loads of like, all, the, all the places you shouldn't have played like Pivo Pivo Ivory Blacks Box Nice and Slazies I kind of conquered them by the time I was like a mid teenager um, with my brother's band, that's how I got that in that band was because uh, he he's five years older than me, and they had he had a singer John and a bass player Ewan, and they didn't have a drummer. Nobody can see me find drummers, so I was actually in that band at like fourteen, fifteen. I knew I knew when I met th- these guys, he could play great, and Scott was an amazing singer, so I knew straight away that it was going to be a good setup. 